Okay, I had tried recording this previously, but the audio was breaking up. Um, I'm gonna need to look at OBS. I've obviously got something set up wrong. So, right. Now, I've said in the past that <coughs> there's more than one way to skin a cat. Depends on which method may suit you best. Uh, one thing I would advocate, no matter what version, recommend doing it several times over because that's how you learn. Uh, you might do it the first time, but the second time you'll do it quicker. The third time you'll do it quicker still. And also in the process you're revising things where you're making mistakes things where you're learning little in bits of information indeed doing this two or three times I've found a couple of things out myself so without further ado we are going to look at projector lens and it's this bit here with all the little ridges that's what we're interested in so there's a couple of ways you can go about this I did try curves but frankly that's more trouble than it's worth um, so I'm going to come about it what I think is two pretty quick ways first one it's a circle nothing surprising there I'll give it an hang on and we go in right switch into face select mode the obvious thing is you insert then you insert and then you extrude carry on carry on carry on which is fine apart from this is an equal this is not precisely equal so what do you do next well you can do it by hand so I can insert then extrude 0.045 minus pretty repetitive. You can actually just use inset as well, so I can inset like that. I can inset and hold the control down, change that to but Again you're repeating this, it's a pain. Now this is where Python comes in handy. You don't even have to know Python, just go to scripting. Click on you. The only thing you need everything else is done for you already in fact everything you need has already been done if you've just done what I've done and that is as you can see here mesh insert mesh inset thickness 0 0.045 depth 0 thickness 0 depth 0 0.045 so let's take that control C go in here control V take that Control C, go in there, Control V. Now, all I have to do is go there, dum, 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 dum. That's it. That's it. You don't need to know any scripting, it's just done the two commands repetitively as a macro. Unfortunately, there's no way of us that I'm aware of of making that script action. Oh, there is. Oh. But not here. I can't go in here and do Alt-P. doesn't do anything. I've got to run it there. It would be really nice if we could run a script. The, the script which is in that window while you're elsewhere by hitting Alt-P, but you can't. you just got to do it in there. So, be aware of going here and doing anything. It's got to be in that window. So that's that. Delete that face. Select that. And we'll just throw a sharpen on there, which is basically just shade smooth and then 
applying your auto smooth. And there we are, that's that. That's one way of doing it. Which is fine, that's a great way of handling repetitive tasks. But there's no control. Once it's done, it's done. And this is probably the better method. We add a mesh, we add a plane. RX90, so we're looking at it like that. The top point is at the origin. Make sure 3D cursor is your point. 05. Right. Then point mode, select that point, delete the vertices. That leaves us with a step. Select that one point, create a vertex group, and assign it to that one point. That's your editing done. Everything else is modifiers. So, first modifier, bevel. Only the vertices, vertex group, bevel point, and we'll do Right, so that's that. Then we add in an array. Line up. Merge points. Great. Let's ramp that up a couple of times. Dum dum dum. Dum dum. Next one, we want to displace. That is awful. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We don't want normal. We want X. We want to take that down to zero. That mid level, basically. If you can see what it's doing. So you want that at zero. You want the And it's now over there. So let's see. My so that's that. And then we want a screw modifier. Calculate the order. Let's give it something decent to play with. So 64. And that will just sharpen. So now we've got the bevel. But the bevel isn't brilliant. So what we want to do is we want to increase that bevel and make use of it. If I take that off, that's how many we've got. But what you can do is you can come in here, go to Custom Profile, Sample Straight Edges, click a point, make it a vector, a sharp, click a point, make it a vector. Then anything in the middle is going to be sharp. This one, by one. This one, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This one, 0.5. And there we've got a step. All right. Now, as you can see, that's not done out to the bevel. Simple reason. We've only got one segment. Two, three, four, five. C3 isn't enough. Four is just what you need. Then you just choose that. Now, it doesn't matter what you do with that because of the clamp overlap. So, just have that up. So, what I would actually do the just leave as is, it's all good. And then this is fully adjustable. Make that 128, make it super smooth. We can hold shift down, we can alter the, the radius like that. Which is great. And so there's your your setup.
and then you can just reduplicate this. All you can do is just control A, visual geometry to mesh. Go in, edge doubles to make sure you've got everything sorted. Or you could just add a weld modifier, whichever you want to do. And then if you can just select all these edges here, like this. Add them to a vertex group. So we'll delete that one, add a new one, assign them to that. And you know where I'm going with this, we're going to add a bevel. We are going to choose the vertex group. We are going to choose a custom profile. Sample straight edges. Boom. immediately doubled that and you don't even have to apply that one you can just add another bevel modifier put that on the angle right. do a hard normals on this one and we can make that point oh now is turn on wireframe so I can see exactly what's going on with that bevel. Uh, I'm just going to crank that up. Uh, it's not having any of it, why not? That should behave itself. That now, this is interesting. Take off, aha, just too big. There we go, it's just too, too big a clamp, so the clamp overlap was kicking in, and it? Now that tells me the normals are messed up, so go in, select everything, shift in, go out. Oh, no, that's fascinating, what's going on here? That's definitely messed up. Oh, I know what's the problem. I need to add in a weld modifier. And I need to put that before that one, I think. Yeah, there we are. That's Now, the reason I had to do that is because that bevel... Let's hide this other bevel. Let's hide that. This bevel here, because of the clamp overlap, the end points of it were matching these here. Now, without the weld, we've basically got duplicate points. And we can't use merge doubles in edit mode because, well, it's part of a modifier, so the weld does that. So, if I take the weld off, you can see because of the overlapping points, it goes thing. So you put the weld back on. And that's the problem solved. Added five points. Ah, it looks a bit better. Him off, so let's see what we've actually got. Now that other bevel's a bit big, so I'm going to... That's more like it. I'm going to go into... And... Well, that shift said... And there we go. There's your lens cap. And again, do the same in here. Just select that. GZ. Sorted. And no reason to actually do this. Come on. Zoom in. Select that edge. I'm just going to GZ and snap it to the so it's all at least tidy. And there's your 
lens section. All tidy, all done. And again, you can even move this along here, and you could apply visual geometry, or I, I can just do with hard dots. So I'll just do a control sharpen, and it's not actually done anything because it knows it's all bevels. So just apply these two. And hopefully if I go in now and do merge bevels, you see nothing done, because the weld's done it. So that is now full geometry. You compare that with that one. You can see it's got half. Let me turn off the viewport visibility. Or take them out of the edit mode. There you are. I sharpen that. There you are. See, all good. And that's that really. Um, and as I say, you do it several times. You sort of get more into it and again you can go if you want it deeper or shallower it's all good and that's still applied still not active there's no need to scale that on the shift Z because you can just use your displacement to do that you can make it as big as you like so we could ramp that right up and then we can you can go mental. And the thing with that is it's still so if you decide you want that one section to be long like that and all of a sudden you've got that sort of look to it The only thing to be wary of is if you do something with that, it's going to send it mental, because that is point in there. So if I do a control B, you can see now it's it's fighting because it's got it's trying to work out three bevels now. Cause all of those, if I select that, you see all of them belong on it. So you've got to be wary of that. If you're going to do that, what I would suggest you do is remove it from the. So, like, say we want to add in another step, for example, and we'll just say so like that. We want to add in a step. I'd remove that. So now we haven't got a bevel because we've got nothing to bevel. Oh, sorry. Two points somewhat like that. Then I'm just going to select those two points and subdivide. GX snap. And I'm going to make that and that bevel points. And all of a sudden you've got all that going on. So I'd say you can play with all that and it gives you much more flexibility than, like I say, copy it and then just apply the visual geometry to mesh. And there you go. Now you don't have to apply visual geometry to mesh, or rather, you don't have to add in the merge of doubles if at the end of all this we add in a weld like that or at least I'm assuming you won't so if I'll DX Y I am presuming now with that if I apply visual geometry to mesh and go in yeah see no points and that's because the weld modifier at the end takes care of that for you so when you apply visual geometry to mesh you don't need to go in and apply the points so, um, 
this has probably gone on far longer than it should have done anyway, so I'm signing off. And goodbye for now.